Imagine getting an invitation to a party that already happened. This is exactly what the famous theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking did to see if time travel is real. On June 28, 2009, Hawking hosted a time traveler's party with a brilliant twist. He sent out the invitations only after the party was over. Let's dive into this fascinating and playful experiment by one of the greatest minds in science. Stephen Hawking, known for his groundbreaking work on black holes and the nature of the universe, decided to test a very simple yet profound idea. If time travel to the past is possible, why not invite future time travelers to a party and see if anyone shows up? He planned everything meticulously, from the decorations to the menu at the University of Cambridge where he worked. The party venue was set up with tables filled with champagne and delicious snacks, and a large banner that read, Welcome Time Travelers. The scene was festive, ready to greet guests from any point in the future. But here's the twist. Hawking only made the invitation public after the party had taken place. The invitation read, You are cordially invited to a reception for time travelers hosted by Professor Stephen Hawking to be held in the past at the University of Cambridge, Gonville, and Caius College, Trinity Street, Cambridge. Date, the 28th of June, 2009. Time, 12 o'clock, UT. On the day of the party, there was a buzz of excitement. The room was filled with anticipation as Hawking and a few colleagues waited to see if anyone would arrive from the future. Cameras were set up to record any unexpected guests, and everyone present was eager to witness something extraordinary. As the clock struck noon, all eyes were on the door. People were waiting for some sign, maybe a flash of light or a mysterious figure stepping through the doorway. But as minutes turned into hours, no one arrived. The champagne remained unopened and the snacks untouched. The party was, in the traditional sense, a flop. But in the world of science, it was a brilliant statement. Hawking, with his typical humor and grace, remarked, I sat there a long time, but no one came. The absence of time travelers at his party was taken as a playful indication that either time travel to the past isn't possible, or future humans hadn't discovered it yet, or perhaps they simply didn't get the invitation. This playful event highlighted the challenges and paradoxes of time travel. It raised questions that are both scientific and philosophical. If time travel is possible, why haven't we met any time travelers? Does the absence of guests prove that time travel is impossible? Or does it mean that time travelers have rules against such interactions? Stephen Hawking's time travelers party wasn't just about proving or disproving the possibility of time travel. It was a way to engage the public with science, showing that even the most serious scientists can approach profound questions with a sense of fun and creativity. The story of the time travelers party has been featured in articles, documentaries, and discussions, capturing the imagination of people around the world.